Oral cancer kills one American every hour, every day, and the numbers are rising. Want some life-saving advice? Check your mouth. Here's what you'll need. A handheld mirror, throat scope, which is an all-in-one illuminated tongue depressor, and a piece of gauze. Visit checkyourmouth.com for further information on tools used in this video. Remove any dentures, appliances, or oral jewelry before checking your mouth. Let's get started. Look in the mirror. Both sides of your face and neck should look relatively the same. Now with your fingertips, place them towards the back of your jawline near your ears and underneath the jawline, roll your fingers around to the front under the chin. Next, drop your fingertips down to find the muscle on either side of the neck and roll your fingertips in the front of this muscle and behind. A hard fixed lump or a visible swelling that is often painless that persists for more than two weeks should always be checked by your dental professional. Now let's look at your lips. Your lips should be uniform in color and texture. Next, you're going to feel your lips by rolling them between your finger and your thumb. The tissue should feel soft, uniform, and smooth. There are hundreds of small salivary glands throughout this area. Sometimes they enlarge and then burst. But if a lump persists for more than two weeks, have it checked. Now it's time to look inside. Lift your lip up really high. Look at the gums on the top. They should be pale pink if healthy and tight against the teeth. As you look up higher, they'll become darker red. Same on the lower. Pull down your lower lip all the way down and look from side to side. Again, the tissue should be pink next to the teeth and getting darker red as you look lower. With your index finger, start on the top, on the upper right, on the outside, and feel the gum tissue all the way around. Then going to the inside on the top and all the way around. Drop down to the lower and repeat by feeling the gum tissue all the way around on the outside and then along the inside. The tissue should be uniform in color and texture. Check for any tenderness, areas of hardness or a texture change, bleeding or an ulcerated area. If it lasts more than two weeks, have it checked. Now let's look at your cheeks. With throat scope in your hand, look at the right inside area of your cheek. Then move over and look at the inside of the left cheek. Now with your index finger and your thumb, roll the tissue. As you move back towards your molars, you're gonna feel a small bump. It's the salivary gland on each side of your mouth. You may also notice a white line on one side or both inside your cheeks. This is an area that is being repeatedly irritated. Could be something as simple as biting your cheek or sometimes even just the way your teeth bite together, it traps the tissue while we're sleeping. But if you feel an area of hardness or you see an area of discoloration or even a texture change on one side that persists more than two weeks, see your dental professional. Now we're going to look at the tongue. The tongue is a very high risk area for oral cancer. First, stick out your tongue as far as you can. Now move it to the right and now move it to the left. If you can't move your tongue evenly to the right and to the left, or stick it straight out without it diverting to one side, see your dental professional. You'll notice tiny bumps on the tongue that are found on that upper surface. These are called papilla and are basically our taste receptors. Now with a piece of gauze in your hand and throat scope in the other, move your tongue to the right. You're going to look all the way down the side of the tongue from the back to the tip. Now with your index finger, you're going to feel from the back of your tongue right to the tip of your tongue. 
We're going to repeat this on the left hand side. Using the gauze, move your tongue to the left and with throat scope in your hand, look at the tongue from the back to the tip. Now with your index finger, feel the edge of the tongue from the very back right to the tip. Make sure when you remove the gauze that you look at the tip of your tongue as well. If a discoloration or a raised or hardened or thickened area or ulcer lasts more than two weeks, see your dental professional. Also place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and look at the tissue underneath your tongue and then feel it with your index finger all the way up to the tip of the tongue. You may notice there's purple under the tongue or on the floor of the mouth. This is normal and related to the veins that exist there. If you do see a discoloration or a hardened or thickened area that lasts more than two weeks, see your dental professional. Now the floor of the mouth. With throat scope in your hand, check as far back as possible under the tongue. Looking at the floor of the mouth from one side to the front and then to the other side. Now with one finger placed inside the mouth on the floor of the mouth towards the back and another finger placed on the outside, move around with corresponding pressure from one side to the front and all the way around to the other side. The floor of the mouth is another high risk area for oral cancer. If you see a red, white or black discoloration, feel a swelling, tenderness, hardness or a lump that lasts more than two weeks, see your dental professional. Now let's take a look at the roof of your mouth. With throat scope in your hand, start on the right hand side and look across the entire roof of your mouth to the left side. Now with your index finger, feel the roof of your mouth. You'll notice that the tissue at the front is much thicker on the hard part of the palate. As you move towards the back, the tissue gets much softer. Again, you may find a bony growth down the middle. These come in all shapes and sizes and most likely have been present all your life and this is normal. However, if you find a lump or an area of hardness or tenderness on one side or a texture change that persists for more than two weeks, have it checked. And last but not least, your throat and tonsils. With throat scope, push down on the back of your tongue to view your throat. You may find some small red round areas that are slightly elevated. These are especially common where the mouth meets the back of the throat. These may enlarge with infection or even with allergies. If your tonsils are present and one is much larger than the other, and or frequently infected, consult with your medical doctor. This is a high risk area for HPV related tonsil and throat cancer that is four times more common in men under the age of 50. In summary, if you find anything different, anything new, or something on one side and not the other that is raised, thickened, hardened, discolored, could be red, white, or black in color, ulcerated or bleeding that lasts more than two weeks, see your dental professional. Basically, anything that doesn't heal or last for more than two weeks must be checked by a dental professional. Persistence is key. Check your mouth monthly. It may just save your life. For additional information, visit checkyourmouth.com.